So I ordered a pair of the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gaming glasses from Best Buy. I wasn't really into gaming glasses and I didn't really get them for myself. I'll explain that in a minute. I mean, the ones I got were $30, which are the ones from uh, Scuff Gaming, I believe. I, I didn't see a point in getting Gunners for $80. Actually, these were $80, but they were on sale for $30, so you know, I decided to get them. I also had a Best Buy gift card, so you know, I'm still technically not paying for these. I had it from a couple years ago and it was going to expire soon, so I figured I'd better use it on something. So I got this for my little brother. Uh, he plays Xbox a lot more than I do. He plays hours at a time and then his eyes get very stressed out and he pops blood vessels in his eyes a lot. So I got these for him so that he can actually, you know, wear them without straining his eyes. And I think they're a small enough pair that will fit his head. I mean, his head's pretty big. So yeah, I got these so that he doesn't, uh, you know, eventually damage his eyes too much from playing video games. So, and in here we have the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gaming glasses. Got some bubble wrap. A lot of bubble wrap. Which I think is stuck in there. Anyway, uh, in here are the uh, Call of Duty gaming glasses. So here are the glasses themselves. Uh, I guess let's open it up. Just uh, some facts about it. Doesn't really matter. As you can see, it says Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm trying to get it caught in the light so you can see the reflection. Yeah. So here are the glasses outside of the box. They come with a hard shell case, as you can see on the bottom, and an instruction manual, which is in the middle. Uh, the hard shell case doesn't seem to be useful. I mean, if you're gaming, you're not really traveling, unless you, you know, unless you play professionally and you travel, but I'm not really going to leave my house, and I'm, I guess my brother could put them in the case so he doesn't destroy them. But, yeah, the case has a weird diagonal zipper on it. You also got a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, cleaning cloth with it. So as you can see, here's the hard shell case. Uh, it says Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on it. On the inside, it's just an empty, uh, I guess, soft material. And here's the cleaning cloth close up. As you can see, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, it's just a soft microfiber cleaning cloth to, uh, well, also a drawstring bag to hold the glasses in, but just to clean off the glasses in case you get smudges on the lenses. And, uh, here are the glasses themselves. The whole point of these glasses is to reduce eye strain when looking at computer screens or televisions or any kind of screen in general, usually. As you can see, it says Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the left eye lens, and over here it says EXT Titanium Gaming which I assume means that these frames are made of titanium, as you can see. The front is metal, the back is plastic. Uh, well, actually, most of the back is plastic. There's a metal spine running through it, as this is bendable. But over here, it's pretty stiff. The glasses have a yellow tint to them because if you see, let me see if I can get it to happen. You can see me in the camera right now. But if I turn it the other way, you can see all the blue light is reflecting. Uh, that's because television screens and phone screens, LCD screens, all give off a blue tint to them. Uh, you don't see it with your own eye, but you perceive it. So that's why you look at television screens or phone screens at night, it keeps you up a little bit because of the blue lights messing up your uh, internal clock, so to speak. Uh, that's not the reason I got these. I got these so my brother doesn't strain his eyes. I'm gonna bring the, uh, the lenses up to the camera. As you can see, there's a slight magnification. So if I go like that and like that, you can see it kind of zooms in a very tiny bit. It makes everything a little more yellow. I mean, there are clear ones if you do video uh, editing and stuff like that for color corrections, compensating for it by making it very blue. But those cost a lot of money, and they're sold by uh, by Gunner Optics, and they cost a lot of money. These were $30 with a gift card, so I didn't really spend any money on them. But as you can see, it says Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the left eye, and uh, EXT Titanium Gaming on the right. I assume that that means this frame is uh, titanium. I don't know why else it would say titanium gaming. Maybe that's their catchphrase. I don't know. They seem to be pretty solidly made. As you can see, it says Call of Duty Black Ops 2 over here. The whole thing is metal. Even in here, there's a metal spine. Only the tips back here are bendable. Uh, they seem to be pretty solidly built. The nose pieces over here are a little loose, which is good. So that I can actually kind of mold to your face a tiny bit because these are pretty stiff gaming glasses. Uh, as you can see, they also say Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the inside and the outside on both sides. So there isn't much of a difference once you have them on of one side or the other. I'm gonna zoom in and show uh, just the close-up of the edges and stuff like that, show how it's built. I'll try them out myself before I let my brother use them. 
Uh, but I assume they'll help slightly if they don't. I don't know. I guess I wasted $30 that would have been void by tomorrow because of the gift card expiring. So yeah, hopefully they're uh, quality. So as you can see, the front frame is just made of metal. The brim seems to be orange, but that's just because of the light being reflected by the lenses. As you can see, it says EXT Titanium Gaming and Black Ops 2, as I said before. The hinges seem to be pretty solid. They seem to be made of mostly metal. I don't know if there's any plastic inside it, but they do seem to be spring-loaded or uh, tensioned in some way. Like, if you open it, they kind of pop open on themselves once you pass a certain point. There's an interior view of the little nose pieces. They are loose so that they can fit on your nose without clamping onto your nose and hurting you. Also, the lenses seem to be behind the metal. You can see they kind of stick out behind the lens a little bit, like their frame does. They're kind of recessed in the front and stick out a little in the back, as you can see over here in this corner. There's a little bit of a lip. Uh, you can see the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 writing on the side seems to have not actual carbon fire. There seems to be just a sticker or some kind of plastic uh, insert. But they seem to have a carbon fiber cross weave design in them, which looks pretty nice. I'm not going to bother you by reading this whole thing, but if you want to see what the glasses claim to do, you can read it here. You can pause the video if you want. So to sum up this unboxing, uh, the glasses seem to be pretty solidly built. They come with a case and uh, a little silk cloth that you can see under the glasses and behind the glasses. The reason I think these are more, uh, usually the Scuff Gaming glasses for Black Ops 2 are around $30, but these seem to be the most expensive pair, which are $80. But they're on sale at Best Buy right now for $30. So if you want to get them while they're cheaper, I'd say go for it. The reason I think it's more expensive is one, because they seem to be made of a pretty solid metal. The other ones look like they were made of plastic for the most part. As well as you get the hard case, which I don't think the other ones come with. So if you want a case like this, maybe if you don't even want to use it for these glasses, just a pair of sunglasses you have, you get a nice case. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll make a video later on giving a review of the glasses. I mean, I'm not going to be wearing them. I mean, I'll ask my brother to tell me what he thinks, if they actually make any difference. I'll, based on the reviews I've read, they do stop your eyes from becoming a strain, so that should help him with his uh, eyes becoming bloodshot and popping blood vessels in his eyes from straining them against the TV screen. So hopefully these glasses work. I'll probably make a review later on about them, just to give my opinion on them. They seem to be pretty solidly built. I haven't even tried them on yet, just making this video. But yeah, just to give you a close look, they ship pretty fast too. I got them from Best Buy. They said that they would come by Monday, today's Thursday. So they shipped it technically like two business days early, but really f like five days early because of the weekend. So it was nice to get these early in the morning so I could do this review of them.